Now, remember any of the movies that you've seen of science fiction, there were most of the cases there were people fighting for a crystal that holds information that nobody should have or at least should not go into the bad hands. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the pleasure to present you somebody who is part of the team who created a new data format that encodes information in tiny nanostructures in glass. A standard size disk can store around 360 terabytes of data with an estimated lifespan of up to 13.8 billion years, even at temperatures of 119 degrees Celsius. Well, as old as the universe and more than three times the age of the Earth. So far, they have created copies of the King James Bible, Isaac Newton's Optics Study and the United Nations Universal Declaration of Human Rights. It is a pleasure to welcome Professor Petr Kazansky. And uh, in my talk, I will, uh, it will be <coughs> technical talk, uh, I will uh, review some results on uh, demonstration of optical memory, which could potentially survive human rays. And I also would like to mention that I will talk about uh, lasers and silica glass. And lasers and silica glass, they uh, re revolutionized uh, data <coughs> uh, internet. And without uh, lasers and uh, silica glass, which also have uh, been used uh, for this data storage, uh, maybe this conference wouldn't exist. So, um, uh, first of all, I would like to mention, uh, just to quote some numbers related to data storage. It is estimated that at least a million bytes of data is generated every day. And uh, brain memory capacity is in the thousands terabytes range, as much as the entire web. And the size of collections in Library of Congress is 10 terabytes. This gives you a flavor of numbers uh, which we need to store. And uh, just I would like to mention that uh, uh, potentially our uh, memory disks could store about 300 ter terabytes of data, and maybe three of them can store uh, the whole human brain. And uh, uh, long data preservation is, uh, uh, is crucial for humanity, and uh, uh, the nature choice is, the, is DNA. Uh, and DNA uh, could uh, store information uh, for millions of years uh, if frozen. Uh, and current um, uh, archiving technology uses uh, uh, magne magnetic tape, Magnetic tape lasts 20 to 30 years, and this is not uh, very much uh, taken into account that uh, the old archiving data is stored on magnetic tape. And the most um, uh, durable uh, data storage is still uh, is optical. However, CDs and, D and DVDs, they last maybe up to 10 years, 7 years, but uh, very advanced ones can last up to 100 years, and, uh, and even more advanced, like Millennium Discs, can uh, last thousands of years. And uh, very recently, uh, ourselves in Southampton and the group uh, uh, um, in Hitachi demonstrated that it's possible to store information on quartz glass or silica glass for millions or, or even billions of years. And for this technology uh, of data storage, uh, femtosecond laser writing um, uh, was used. Ba basically, it's very new technology. And uh, I would like also just to mention that uh, um, uh, optical data storage benefits, apart from compatibility and contactless, include uh, longevity and, uh, and uh, uh, durability. Only optical data uh, uh, survived Hurricane Katrina. 
And uh, because I am also uh, a, a laser scientist, I would like also to demonstrate you this is a, a laser uh, beam with a, uh, with a hole in the middle. And this is a, represents you um, uh, the whirlpool of light. Here you can see the whirlpool in, in air, and we can also produce a whirlpool of light. Uh, uh, and using similar technology, uh, which we uh, use for uh, fabricating of our uh, mem memory. Um, and this is how uh, uh, femtosecond laser writing uh, works. Uh, we use uh, very um, uh, powerful lasers, which uh, generate, produce very short pulses. And these short pulses are focused, tightly focused uh, uh, inside trans transparent material, and very, in the focus of the beam, very high intensity could be reached up to terawatts uh, watt per square centimeter. And such huge intensity uh, 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 light uh, breaks bones and creates uh, plasma. And uh, every material becomes transparent. And what is important, that such technology could be used for three-dimensional writing uh, um, uh, inside, uh, um, inside materials, which is uh, different uh, from conventional uh, optical data storage, where a material can be modified only on the surface. And it's very difficult to, to write uh, and store information in, uh, in, in the volume of material. And another uh, uh, important um, um, peculiarity of uh, femtosecond uh, using ultra short light pulses that modifications which produced by short, uh, these pulses are very uh, are localized. They are very small and localized to the focus. Well, so uh, on, on, on the left, you can see this modification produced by short pulses, and on the right, modification produ produced by uh, longer pulses. Longer pulses produce a lot of heat and, uh, and cracks. So this is uh, the main advantage. Uh, of femtosecond la laser writing, uh, uh, um, modification uh, is very localized. localized. And la the lasers which are used for such data storage um, are very similar to what are used in, in a la a laser surgery. Maybe some of you had th this experience. This is also such lasers are used for, um, for laser uh, uh, surgery. And uh, um, as I have already mentioned, when uh, such high power laser focused in such, uh, inside material, it creates very uh, unusual transformation. Uh, it creates plasma. It creates very hot, uh, no, uh, um, um, it creates plasma inside material. And in such conditions, uh, such, uh, <coughs> uh, after, um, after such modification, uh, uh, very interesting structures uh, can be produced, which we call non-grating or uh, bulk uh, uh, ripple. So, and what is interesting, this ripple uh, represents the smallest embedded structure produced uh, by light, with the features as small as 20 nanometers. And this uh, ripple, bulk uh, ripple, can be controlled by light. Uh, uh, red is polarization, and we can uh, ch change uh, uh, direction of this ripple, orientation of the ripple, uh, using polarization of, of light. And such uh, ripples are normally, um, uh, ripples normally are very common in nature. You, you can find them almost everywhere. Uh, but obviously, uh, the, the, the ripple, our ripple is very peculiar, produced by, by light. And another interesting thing is that, that such a bulk uh, ripple or such a structure could uh, produce bifringency. Bifringency is uh, very common also in nature. But uh, this bifringency, um, uh, which we uh, artificially create in, in glass, is of the, uh, of the order of uh, uh, bifringency, which, uh, which can uh, uh, be uh, observed in, uh, in, in crystals. But here, uh, uh, we convert uh, uh, glass into the, pro with the pro into the property of crystal. And uh, this is an example of uh, 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 image, which was written again in, in glass. The size of this image is about half a millimeter. And each spot was modified with different polar polarization and contains this uh, tiny nanostructure. And we can uh, image these uh, uh, this, uh, structures using polarization microscope. So uh, in each spot uh, was modified with different pol polarization. And uh, um, uh, 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 what is interesting that uh, this um, uh, oriented uh, structure, gives, uh, 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 which produces bifringency, gives two uh, uh, additional parameters or degrees of freedom to, for encoding information, which is the strength of uh, bifringency and uh, orientation, or orientation of this nanostructure, or as we call it, uh, uh, also orientation of slow axis. So these two additional parameters could be used for uh, encoding uh, information. And uh, no, no, how it works. Uh, so uh, 
um, in addition to three, uh, three special coordinates, we can add uh, 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 strength uh, of retardance or strength of bifringence and uh, orientation uh, uh, of slow axis. So in total, in one spot, we can encode up to eight bits of information. Uh, in normal recording, you can encode only one bit. And here we can potentially encode ten, almost 10 times more uh, uh, of information. And so, and here uh, shows you a comparison uh, that, um, for example, in the, in the Blu-ray, uh, in one layer, uh, about 24 uh, gigabytes is recorded. But using uh, our 5D uh, uh, writing technology, we can uh, increase this uh, uh, density about four orders of magnitude by uh, uh, by uh, 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 encoding information in the, in the bulk, for example, if it encodes 1,000 layers, and another 10 times uh, comes from uh, uh, these uh, additional dimensions. And uh, what is uh, uh, very interesting, the, sta the stability of these structures is extraordinary. Uh, 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 they can survive temperatures uh, uh, up to 1,000 uh, degrees. And more recently, we conducted this uh, special test, which is uh, at, we annealed them at a uh, uh, high temperature, and we show that um, and extrapolated to the to the room temperature. No, this, sorry for this uh, physical uh, um, <coughs> terminology, but anyway, as, as a result of this test, we we we, uh, we proven that uh, they at, at temperature about 190 deg degrees, uh, they will last uh, uh, for, the, for the duration of, of universe, which is 14 billion years, and moreover, at room temperature, they will last 300 quintillion years. So this is a very stable data. And here also I would like to show you an example that really information could, could be recorded in 5D. This is an image of uh, Maxwell, uh, and this is a uh, Newton, which were recorded. Uh, Maxwell was recording in, in, in one dimension, which is strength of retardance, and Newton in, the, in slow experimentation. And uh, they were encoded in physically one uh, space, but uh, it was possible to decouple them. Uh, and this was coined like a uh, super mem memory crystal uh, because due to durability and uh, high capacity. Uh, so this is shows you an example of data storage. This is, uh, in this uh, we, uh, um, experiment, we used uh, many uh, dots, and you can see flashes of plasma uh, during the writing. And uh, uh, this is uh, also uh, shows you the result of a redoubt of the data where we encoded uh, a redoubt about three layers separated by 20 microns. And uh, the, uh, the, uh, the first um, document uh, which we managed to retrieve uh, showed very slow uh, error uh, rate. Uh, and uh, as been all mentioned, we recently we demonstrated the first uh, internal copies of Magna Carta. Uh, and you can see the small circles, uh, um, uh, this real Magna Carta, uh, uh, which is uh, re recorded in English and Latin, and um, also recorded uh, uh, the first eternal copy, copy of uh, uh, Newton's books of optics. And, uh, and, and, yeah. and uh, more recently, also, this is the Decla Declaration of Human Rights, which was presented uh, to the, uh, UNESCO at a closing ceremony uh, in Mexico, uh, uh, cl closing ceremony of a uh, year of light. And what is interesting, this ceremony took place in Yucatan, uh, where about 65 million years ago, uh, uh, meteorite um, uh, asteroids uh, strike and, uh, and destroyed uh, a, um, um, a lot of uh, um, life on Earth. And what is interesting, that uh, uh, the structures which could find found in, uh, in the impact site are very similar to the structures which we can produce. In, in, uh, they have some laminar structure which are similar to what we can uh, produce in our uh, gl um, glasses. And also, uh, what is uh, interesting, recently we demonstrated also this uh, um, uh, um, uh, time capsules, and these time capsules uh, which are, are, are eternal ca time capsules, and hopefully they could be read by future generations. And if they are too clever enough, they could also maybe contact us. So, the, so in conclusion, just I would like to say that uh, uh, we created first digital documents which will uh, survive human uh, race, and uh, um, w hopefully which will, uh, everything we learned will be now not forgotten. And more. Uh, uh, also interesting, this is now official that uh, femtosecond laser nan nanostructured glass is officially is recognized as the most durable digi digital data storage medium. I would like to thank you for your attention.